You might recall that after the Queen's death, some of the most fame-hungry politicians surfaced to rally their base. Green Senator Marine Favruki wrote this on social media. I cannot mourn the leader of a racist empire built on stolen lives, land and wealth of colonised peoples. Now, to say it was in poor taste is an understatement, and predictably, it triggered heated response in kind. One person, Pauline Hanson, hit back at the insane commentary by saying Faruqi should leave Australia if she thinks the country is inherently racist. Now, she used far more colourful language than that, but that was essentially the essence of her argument. And this is how the media responded. It never gets easier to deal with racist attacks. They're not just the pathetic hecklings of a schoolyard bully. It hurts every time. I'm the Senate leader. I still get triggered. A standoff in the Senate. Australia's halls of power dragged into a wretched racism row. I've been told to go back to where I come from hundreds of times. Senator Pauline Hanson did it a few days ago. Senator Pauline Hanson tweeting, Piss off back to Pakistan. In response to Senator Maureen Faruqi's comments after the Queen's passing, I cannot mourn the leader of a racist empire. The Senate yesterday rejected a move to censure Hanson. Censuring Senator Hanson today is really the absolute bare minimum. Instead, issuing a broad directive for more respectful debate as Hanson doubled down. I make the offer also to take her to the airport. Now, allegedly, the Australian Human Rights Commission is investigating Hanson, which raises all sorts of questions about how robust speech can be in Australia. Sophie, very keen to hear your thoughts about this. Um, what did you make of, of, of the way that Marine Faruqi says inflammatory commentary and then when it creates a firestorm, which creates other commentary, she complains? Well, this is absurd. She puts out these comments on Twitter, almost looking for a fight, and then that's exactly what happens. Yes. There's some awful comments that come back. Uh, now, you, you can't stop that, unfortunately. That's what happen in so happens with social media these days. There's a lot of people who hide behind pseudonyms. We don't know who they are. But then she hits out and says, as a result of what Pauline Hanson says, this is what's happening to me. Well, hang on a minute. You can't stop what other people say. And this is what effectively she's arguing, that she's getting all this pushback uh, from comments that were said about her. And I think it's... Uh, very contradictory and I think it raises problems. You can't blame what other people say on someone else and that's what I believe she is doing. Kel, final thoughts? Uh, Left-wing politicians, I suspect, are deaf to hate speech from the left. So they hear Faruqi say it's a racist empire, this is a racist country and they think Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That, that's a factual report. That's not hate speech. They, 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 cannot, they cannot hear how savage and vicious the hate speech from their own side is, and it's time they listened.